Yes, hearty welcome and today we will speak about PhD in Germany. Uh, if at all you want to do PhD in Germany, uh, first of all don't jump into doing some tasks outside. First prepare yourself and the pre-requirement preparation is very important to do PhD in Germany. The first of all, what are those requirements? The first thing is you have to complete your masters in your country now if you are if you don't have that certificate in your hand then you cannot apply you're not eligible for applying phd in germany because masters is the minimum qualification that you require to do phd in germany and after that you need to have all the other certificates in your hand if at all you might have submitted to the university or anywhere or you have to bring it back to you and keep those certificates ready with you and write one motivation letter motivation letter is nothing but you have to write in few words what motivated you to study PhD over in Germany and you need to have some three recommendation letters from professors and recommendation letters also are important <clears throat> and uh, you need to also have <clears throat> IELTS, TOEFL, GRE or GMAT. Depending upon the subjects you are applying, you must have uh, you must have done either either of these IELTS or TOEFL, GRE or GMAT. So do it now. You have to prepare in this way. And the next thing is like to have some idea about that scholarship, DAAD, that scholarship. Just have some idea over browsing or reading some books, what this scholarship is about, how it can help you bring some money to study PhD in Germany. And the other very important thing, be ready with CV. And CV must not be of an international standard CV you must change here because in Germany your curriculum vitae must be in German style so you need to prepare European CV that's German CV and that's all that's what they accept that's what they give credibility and authenticity so prepare nice CV a very good CV uh, of German style and these are the pre-requirements if at all you have any any choice to decision to do PhD in Germany first get ready with all these things and if you fulfill all these requirements then things will become easy afterwards after applying if they ask you to bring that and this then it becomes a great deal and sometimes you will lose out so many opportunities so once you are ready with all these documents the next step starts here now <clears throat> you have to start searching for the universities um, i think i have to say one more thing here along with all the requirements you must also study german as a part of <clears throat> going there and sustaining surviving there it is not a mandatory thing like uh, that's why I don't want to mention but I have to mention because of the conditions existing in Germany you need to learn German of even level at, at least to go there and survive properly with some jobs okay so if after that now you have to start applying to universities now to apply to any universities again you have to make a secondary preparation here before applying that is keeping your research topic ready what is that topic that you are going to research upon and secondly you have to be ready with the <coughs> research proposal and these two are very important and you must have some ready-made email respectfully um, a prepared email only you can change some things like the name of the supervisor uh, clearly but don't use dear sir madam or uh, dear uh, respected sir but, but always you have to mention the name of the person that you are applying to so search for some universities where they can um, <coughs> give 
opportunity to you to research for that type of topic all universities may not promote that topic what you have decided so search for the opp opportunities look <coughs> at supervisor's profile on the university website if the supervisor uh, supervisor's profile is matching to your topic then that is where you can drop email so you need to drop an email because you have to drop again and again don't think that it is an easy process some have taken in the past uh, almost six months to three months to nine months and some i know up going on applying thousands of applications sending every day one email some yeah some sent 500 emails and one could respond to them so it happens so this way so don't get discouraged don't just write one email somewhere and wait for the for the reply so write go on writing every day every monday you write one that that's what i recommend every day you can write up to friday but don't write on saturday and sunday right on monday is the best time to write your email to any university so go on doing that for some time so it so happens one one or other day somebody will respond to you positively but don't drive to the minimum of one to ten or twenty but i i if you ask phd students right now in germany they tell how many applications they might have uh, uh sent uh, before they got they had got positive response so here what you can do now you have to go on sending emails don't get discouraged here my dear so go ahead go ahead and at the end you'll get response then you can if when supervisor responds to you positively you can send directly research proposal along with cv later on <clears throat> later on your certificates and uh, many things so in this way what happens uh, like uh, <clears throat> your university will verify all your documents and all, always uh, look for the admission requirements before you do all this stuff because sometimes they may ask you something and you don't possess that in hand then it's a problem but i have mentioned everything almost as a pre-requirement stage what you have to collect all those things some may ask sometimes they may not ask to fill then well well no not a problem but most of them ask so that is what i can say to you go ahead sending research proposal to supervisor and in germany and she will or he will agree to you and see after all this verification they will conduct one telephonic round or skype interview where you have to show up your passion we have to prove yourself in the interview that you are able to research in germany properly and you are very dedicated committed and passionate to do that so once university is happy with your skype interview or telephonic round and if they are positive about you they will be sending in shortly yeah, an acceptance letter then this acceptance letter is very important which will help you to apply for the uh, uh, visa so that procedure everything will be looked after once you get the acceptance letter that's final you are almost saved up okay and you can approach any consultancy or you can apply on your own to uh, the visa and that's how it happens here in germany the whole process i'm telling you very clearly so once you have done all these things and get, get the visa and you know about that scholarship and this scholarship will almost help you completely free when 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 you go to germany what happens is that this dart scholarship will pay you monthly thousand thousand euros so monthly thousand euros i don't think your expenses will be thousand but still um depending upon the standard of living of germany they could provide that so you can spend some 800 700 to 800 and you can save some euros with you personally uh, but i should not say this but uh, as a matter of hope, I have to mention this what happened exactly right now in Germany. So whatever, maybe you get 1000 euro scholarship from dad to do your PhD in Germany. And that's a very good thing. And uh, and uh, you have to go on to dad's website and check uh, and apply them. We have 
um, <clears throat> we have so many branches uh, throughout the world maybe in your own country you have many branches of dart within your own country you can apply from your own country too so once you get the scholarship and everything is ready you can start your phd journey if not dart scholarship you have so many other societies max planck society and Leibniz, some other societies where even they can help even if you don't have any scholarship you will enter into <clears throat> uh, you can do phd <clears throat> in germany as a paid one which means you pay on on your own but doesn't mean that you cannot even the university will offer you some job as research associate or research assistant <clears throat> as research teaching assistant so you can go there and do some job in the university also you can do some <clears throat> part-time job outside you are allowed to do almost uh, uh, I if, if I am <clears throat> correct right now the Germany is allowing a PhD student to work for uh, 120 days in a year so 120 days uh, or else 120 into uh, two, uh, 240 days, 240 half days. So you can work 120 days or 240 half days in a in in an academic year, and you can very well earn from there from from that. So PhD in Germany is very completely tuition free. You don't need to spend much money. You don't need to come. It's 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 completely tuition free because. Uh, Germany is uh, such a country where research is completely a matter of um, expertise. Research, they want people internationally to do research. That is why we have in Germany almost um, more than USA, we find people coming to Germany to do research. So research has that kind of international reputation and recognition. So if you are planning to do your um, research PhD research in Germany you are you are almost uh, go there and uh, it's, a, it's a good life but one uh, thing that I want to say is they're a little bit professors are strict enough and uh, they are a little bit stringent towards you sometimes so they may ask you they may ask your honesty not more than that so just be hardworking do what you're supposed to do towards the research and um, just go ahead in your life and my bonus some bonus tips before that nobody tells you this uh, if you want to do phd in germany do it in a city like berlin or do it in any city limits but don't choose because you got an opportunity you don't want to lose that opportunity if you go to your village or it's not a city area and you join there what happens is that there may be sometimes you may be under some stress or depression you don't have things around to see uh, and go about and enjoy yourself of course relaxation is very very important uh, when you do your phd because you are sometimes your stress levels may go up so if you choose uh, the university which is under city limits so you can enjoy on weekends you can go up with with your friends out or you can watch some movie there or you just go and sit somewhere within the city limits you can enjoy people are very busy so i recommend going to city universities than to village areas okay anyhow uh, and one more bonus tip is after doing phd in germany after you are finishing your PhD you can stay there don't think that you have to come back to your own country again you can stay there um, right now you can stay up to uh, 18 months one and a half year almost so you can stay there looking after some job and later on if some employer <clears throat> is recruiting you then very well everything goes on well there and this is how PhD in Germany looks like. PhD in Germany is a very, very good option if at all you want to do it seriously. And if you have that passion, research oriented person, if you fulfill all the requir requirements, what I've been saying, if you want to <clears throat> know what are all the requirements, just come back to my video again and watch again, write down all those requ requirements and uh, be prepared and go to Germany. It is completely tuition free and um, you don't need to spend money if you have scholarship. 
Uh, I, I forgot to mention one thing regarding age bar. Now in PhD in Germany, there is no age bar as such. You can uh, do PhD, but but if you want scholarship from dad, there is one rule is your master's or your last acquired qualification must not be older than six years. Now maybe some I'm just telling this for those people who are in 40s and 50s. If they want to pursue PhD in Germany, they can very well go uh, with paid Germany that individual uh, PhDs. But uh, uh, otherwise, if your qualification is not older than six months, of course, it happens. Uh, it is very common. So you have very latest qualification. So um, you can get scholarship. Only the scholarship matters there. So. What more I have to say about PhD in Germany? I think I'm covering everything each bit by bit uh, to the best of my knowledge. And uh, there is one structured PhD, but don't worry about that. That's not so uh, important right now. And um, coming to <clears throat> the atmosphere there, let me give you some bonus tip. My mind is just trying to giving you maximum in this video. Uh, while doing PhD, you can do it in, you can do it in, English okay but your social engagement is not at all in English but though so somebody says you like your consultancy or um, some others say you that you can do PhD in, in in the medium of English language and you you are so much negligent to learn German but it's not so there English is nothing there English just in that very narrow research area you have English but once you step on into the airport to the university to the communication to so social engagement speaking to people communicating to people all everything is German so if you don't know German you will suffer suffer a lot so very important thing anyhow you have to learn being there so learn it in your own country get that A1 level Listen, listen to German audio every time. Get one idea on how to speak German. So they're going there and then you will feel very good doing PhD in Germany there. So that's it. I don't want to say more than this. Thank you very much for watching this video. And if you want more information about uh, doing PhD, uh, just visit my website phdstudytips.com. Thank you. Bye.